Hey, what's going on, guys? Now you're welcome to back to some Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And, but basically, I'm going to try to beat this whole entire game now. So, yeah. Sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. I've just been very busy. So, yeah, let's get right into this. New game. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. I literally uh, forgot hello. how you play this. Hello, hello. It's been so long. Uh, hello and welcome this to your summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while. But uh, I want to reassure you, Fastberry Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. Isn't that neat? <laughs> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Oh, I forgot you had the nice uh, Now, that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Oh, is that so? Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the client counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the electronics, but it does affect one of them. Sorry, it's night time where I live. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you lose an endoskeleton without his costume on, and one of his stuffy suits. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. Yay. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> Uh, but hey, you have light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. There's Mangle. Oh crap! Oh! Hi Toy One One! You wanna play? I literally forgot to make some pop.
Sorry if you're nothing but that. I'm just trying to get myself used to this stuff. So, yeah. Oh my god, Chico. Oh, Chico the chicken. Oh, that bird. Crap, the music box. What's that noise? Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, it's Toy Freddy. Are you a little scaredy wussy cat? Now that's what I'm talking about. But guys, the reason for this video, if you did push a like and subscribe, I have to stop because I have to go to bed. School in the morning. So yeah. <sighs> Whew. <sighs>